Hi, this is Michelle Aiden with Libertas Institute at the Capitol again with Senator Jake Andereg to talk about Senate Bill 84 regarding legislative procedure amendments. Can you explain this bill to us? Uh, this one's a fun one. So we have all these rules of how our procedures work up here, mm -hmm. meaning any piece of legislation through the normal process has to go through three readings before it can be voted on for final passage, either through the House or through the Senate. So if a bill is generated in the Senate, it goes through three readings and approved, and then sent to the House, it goes through three readings and approved. If it goes through that process in both the House and the Senate, then it goes to the governor for his final approval. We have a rule up here that we call 38, 15, and 1. Any good or bad idea can become law with 38 votes in the House, 15 votes in the Senate, and one vote from the governor. Hmm. That's how the process works. But here's the problem. And now that I've been up here four years, I see how there's a lot of horse trading that happens in the final two to three days of the legislative session. So what happens is, in those last three days, we suspend our rules. We suspend them so that we can push all of our bills through really quick. Mm. But here's the problem, and I'll give you an example. There was a bill, and I don't want to defame anybody, so I'm not going to tell you which bill it was, but there was a bill the second night, second to the last night of the session. The fiscal note and the impact of this bill was only $150,000. The second to the last night, the sponsor in the House of the bill substitutes the bill with a $500 million, or a $5 million fiscal note. It hasn't been through any committee. It hasn't gone through first or second readings. We're on the final third reading of the calendar because we suspended our rules. And it goes from $150,000 to $5 million without any oversight. So the problem is, is with that scenario, you see a lot of horse trading happening with bills. And the horse trading occurs typically between House and Senate leadership and the governor. That's a bad way to run government. I'm sorry. So instead of writing a bill that would say, hey, you have to wait on any amended bill 48 hours before you can vote for, for final passage, if I put that in rule, they would just suspend the rule. Mm -hmm. And so it was really a moot point at that point. So mm -hmm. I'm putting this into statute, into law. So I already know some of my colleagues are not going to like this because I'm yeah. basically saying, hey, guys, let's tie our hands here. Yeah. Because it's the, it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. It's the right thing to do to have that type of review of these bills prior to passing them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm running it is I don't like the horse trading that occurs the final two to three days of the session, and I want any and all bills going forward. If we're going to amend them or substitute them on the floor, we have to wait 24 or 48 hours before we can vote for final passage. Okay. Are you already seeing a lot of opposition on this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, as long as everybody understands the rules and we all abide by the rules, we can usually get things to work. Mm -hmm. I am of the belief that we pass way too many bills every single session. Mm -hmm. We pass usually 80% of those bills the final three or four days when we suspend our rules. Wow. And we pass the $16 billion budget all in those last three days. And so in order to get the bill, the, the budget done in time for the end of the legislative session, mm -hmm. a lot of these horse trading occurs. So who's doing the horse trading? Mm -hmm. well, I already said who, and the reality is, is they don't particularly like the idea because it will tie their hands. Mm -hmm. So I have to, through the power of persuasion, and I'm going to have to convince my colleagues it's the right thing to do. And in principle, all the conservatives at least don't disagree with me. Mm -hmm. And when it's not my bill, they'll all say, yeah, we should operate that way. But once it's my bill, mm -hmm. once it's that senator's bill, then all of a sudden they're like, well, mm -hmm. you know, do we really want to have to wait? I think it's the right thing to do. I'm not positive that we're going to be able to get enough support to get this out, but mm -hmm. I think uh, at least it will generate the discussion. Yeah, which I think is good. All right, if you want more information about this bill or to contact your legislator, just click on the link in the description below.